Oops, I did it again. Well, not really. This wasn't a mistake. It was totally on purpose. I ordered another shipment from Knit Picks Yarn, only this time I ordered a lot more yarn, as you can see, because it came in two boxes. Who wants to check out what I ordered? Come on, let's do it together. All right, we'll start with one box and then we'll move on to the second. Okay, what did we get here? Let's see, where should we start? I might need to put my glasses on so I can read some of these. Ooh, I know what this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a yarn called Wonder Fluff. It's a bulky weight yarn that is fluffy, soft. It is a combination of alpaca, nylon, and merino wool in a number five bulky weight. Do you see how fluffy this is? Oh, the website described it as soft as a kitten and light as a cloud. And I was like... That sounds amazing in a bulky weight yarn. And then I had to pick a bunch of colors because I just, uh, there were too many pretty colors to um, pick just one. Let me see if I can find the rest of them in this box. If not, I have everything organized accurately on my blog. And if you follow the link in the video description, you can get all the details of everything that I ordered, including close-up photos of everything there. I'm missing one color. Let's see if I can find it. If not, we'll organize them at the end. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here are the colors. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is turquoise heather, ripple heather, Atlantic heather, Abyss Heather and Larkspur Heather. I just, I don't even know which direction to go in with these. I don't know if they need to be their own individual things, if they need to be combined in colors. I just love these colors so much. And the yarn is just so incredibly fluffy and soft and still a bulky weight, which means it'll work up really quickly too. Really looking forward to trying that out. And um, also, what would you like to see me knit and crochet with it? What would you like to see me design in any of these yarns? Always feel welcome to leave your input, your comments, your questions here in the video or on my blog post where that has all the detailed information about all of this as well. Okay, ooh, here's another one. So you already know that I like Bravo Worsted Yarn, which is their number four worsted weight acrylic yarn. I've designed a bunch of things knit and crochet in it already. And then I found Brava 500 which is the same yarn, but 1,090 yards in one single ball. And so I bought three colors. I know. I went nuts on this order. I couldn't help myself. First of all, I love that light blue color clarity that I've been using to make the new cocoon shrugs that I haven't yet released, but will be releasing soon. And so I was kind of inspired to go with this and a couple other colors to create some beautiful home deck stuff for myself. So like maybe an afghan, maybe with motifs, maybe some curtains, I don't know, stuff like that. So look at how pretty these colors are together. We've got peacock, dove, heather, and clarity. I think they're going to be really, really pretty together. And also I used the, I grabbed these as a second option from, uh, for doing, I have some ideas for doing something that's related to this screen here, and that's the only hint I'm giving. And I've bought a couple of colors of a couple different yarns to figure out what I'm going to do with my mystery project over there. Oh, somehow I got two balls of that one. Okay, well I've got lots of Dove Heather to work with then. Okay, here is, let's see, I think I'm going to have to open the second ball, the second box, in order to organize all of the yarns that I ordered to show them to you properly. So let's open up the second box, too. I think I 
found everything I wanted to show you in one color now. Maybe. Okay, we'll come back to that box in a minute. One more thing to pull out of here then. Yeah, here we go. So the next yarn I wanted to try from Knit Picks is a yarn called Billow. And this yarn is 100% Pima cotton, number five worsted weight, and it has a thick and thin tex texture to it. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see that beautiful soft halo of the Pima cotton and also the thick and thin texture? So pretty, right? I, I love this yarn, and I've used a yarn like this in the past, so some of my patterns that I'll link in the blog post would be absolutely great candidates for using this yarn already. So you already have knit and crochet patterns that I can recommend for right now. Um, this, is, this is color white, macaroon, French blue. Oh, I like these colors together too. And then ice lily and comfrey. I thought these looked gorgeous together as well. And I think we could even mix and match the cream with those or keep the cream, maybe even do the macaroon with the ice lily and comfrey and do something a little more crisp with the French blue and the white. But I see a lot of options here, not to mention that these are all absolutely gorgeous as single color projects as well. Look at that texture. I've got some pullover patterns and some sweaters and garments and some shawls that would be absolutely stunning in this yarn. This is Billow yarn. So very happy with that purchase too. Okay, I have another Brava discovery for you. And that is, so we already know we like Brava worsted. We now know we like Brava 500. Did you know there's a Brava stripe? So there's a self-striping yarn by Brava. So it's, again, number four worsted weight, 100% acrylic, but it comes striped too. And so I've got stripe color Lagoon and stripe color Orchid, but I figured I should probably get coordinating solids to go with them too. So let me show you. So in the um, Brava worsted yarn, I got color Tide Pool because I thought it might be a good coordinating solid with Laguna. I don't think it's exact here, but maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. And then I grabbed color Fairy Tale from Brava Worsted, thinking it might coordinate with uh, the Brava Stripe color Orchid. It may or may not work, and that's okay because these are pretty together or pretty on their own. And these are going to be really fun for doing modular construction items or even just simple top down increasing triangular shawls where you could see that beautiful construction from the way the color changes. So these are gonna be fun, either in combination or on their own. I still like those as well. Then I wanted to try something a little different and this is a called Lindy Chain. Lindy Chain is a number one fingering weight yarn that is 70% linen and 30% cotton and it has a chainette construction. Can you see that? It has a really interesting chainette construction which is kind of like knitting an I-cord first. So it's knit first and it gives it a little more loft and a little more bounce uh, but really makes super lightweight garments and shawls and accessories with that yarn. 180 yards per 50 gram ball. I think that's going to be really interesting and I'd love to see a shawl in this. I think it'd be really really pretty as a shawl. I did try out some of their um, and I bought a couple balls of it so that I would have enough to make a full project with it because I had a feeling I was going to like it a lot for summer. Maybe like a crochet lace vest it would be really cute for too. A lot of cute things we could do with that. Then the next thing is I wanted to try their crochet thread and I tried it in two weights because I did want to do a deep dive about the difference between yarn and crochet thread uh, in a blog post. Whoops! And on my... <laughs> and on my podcast. And so I wanted to try these out and compare and contrast the different weights of them with different lace weight yarns and try to give a better explanation of what the difference and similarity and similarities are between crochet thread and yarn. So I did grab two of the Curio number 10 in both color Hollyberry and Natural and I bought a couple of balls in Curio number three, which is a number three cotton thread in color pistachio. I can give you the 
yardage on these two. This one is 295 yards per ball, and these are 721 yards per ball. So any one of these would do a shawl all on its own, or you could do tablecloths and doilies and all sorts of other home deck things with them as well. I kind of like the idea of doing a crochet lace dress maybe in one of these, maybe a knit lace dress, and certainly shawls would be gorgeous as well. So those are going to be fun to work with. And there's more. And then I splurged on a couple of 10 packs because I knew I was going to love this yarn. I knew I was going to love it. And I knew I was going to want to make garments with it right away. And I didn't have the patience to just buy one ball to look at colors. You know, sometimes I have patience for that and sometimes I don't. And so this is Knit Picks yarn called Kotlin yarn. It's a number three DK weight yarn. And I already have so many DK weight patterns to choose from for garments and accessories, shawls, um, pullovers, cardigans, vests. I have so many patterns in this weight of yarn. So you could easily swap this out for all of those patterns, which is kind of what I want to do too. And maybe just, I don't know, or design something else. I'd like a dress in one of these. I'd like a shawl in one of these. And I would like a uh, some sort of a garment, maybe a long crochet lace vest would be beautiful. So it's number three DK weight yarn. It's a combination of 70% Tanguis cotton and 30% linen. You can learn all about that on my website where I explain all in detail about all these yarns. These come in 123 yards per 50 gram ball. And so I'll have 1,230 yards to work with in each of these three colors to totally be able to make a garment. This is color French blue, I believe. Let me double check. No, is this color indigo. Mm, so soft. So soft. I love it. Beautiful, right? Isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful blue. And then I bought also color swan, which is like a really soft natural, not quite a solid white, not quite an ivory, but just a really soft off white, which knit and crochet looks amazing in that color. Come on, right? And then I bought a really pretty pinky purple called pirouette. And you can see that here. Gorgeous, right? Oh, cardigan probably in this. Probably a dress in this. Maybe, I mean, all three colors look pretty together too. A motif shawl in all three would be gorgeous as well. Like, I really don't think we can go wrong here, right? What were your favorites? What would you like to see me design with first? What do, would you like to see me make out of all of these? There's so many gorgeous choices here. Like, uh, I don't even know where to start. So, I will leave it up to you. You leave the, your comments for me in the comment section and let me know what you'd like to see me make. I did want to point out one other thing. If you're intimidated by Hank Yarn, I have sh shared some videos on my YouTube channel here where you can learn how to wind these yarns from Hank into a ball. You can do it with equipment or you can do it by hand. And I have lots of options and you can find those videos here on my YouTube channel as well. Ah, so many yummy yarn op options here. I, I don't even know where to give you again, but I'm very happy with all my purchases and very excited to uh, dive into something here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed this yarn boxing. If you have any questions, always feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. Don't forget to head over to my blog where you can see up close photos of all of these colors, plus the yarn details, the colors and the quantities that I ordered of everything and links for where you can find them. Let us make time to create, share and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.